Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day boys, good day girls, good day to all the third graders at Al Farabi International School. Okay, let's go to a new audio and we will go this time to reading audio, okay? Our story for today is the story of the Statue of Liberty. Look at the picture and read the title with me. The story of the Statue of Liberty. We can predict that this story is going to be about what? Yes, it is. It's going to be about the Statue of Liberty. Here it's a statue. This is a statue in the picture. Okay, statue is a sculpture that comes in different shapes. This statue is in the shape of a woman holding this torch in her hand. Okay, and we have also the title. It all gives us information about the story events. Okay. The genre of the story is narrative nonfiction. The genre of the story is narrative nonfiction. Narrative nonfiction gives information about real people and events in the form of a story. Okay? So you will read about real events, real things in the form of a story. What special event does this selection tell about? It tells about the Statue of Liberty. Now the question of the week. Why do we have symbols that represent freedom, that show freedom, okay? A symbol is something that stands for something else. Like for example, you have guns and you have weapons, right, to play with. A gun or a weapon, it stands for what? It is a symbol of what? It is a symbol of war, right? And also we have symbols for freedom. And one of them is the Statue of Liberty. So we will learn from this story, why do we have symbols that represent freedom? The Statue of Liberty stands on an island in New York Harbor. Okay, what is liberty? Liberty is freedom, okay? Liberty means freedom. It stands on an island, where is the place of the statue? On an island in New York Harbor. What is the meaning of harbor? A harbor is a port, it is a city, that is prepared for ships and boats to be able to land there. She is a beautiful sight to all who pass by her. Who is she? Liberty, the statue. Okay, why do they call her she? Because it's in the shape of a woman who is holding a torch and a tablet and it's a symbol of freedom. Okay? Each year millions of visitors ride the ferry out to the island. Okay, they climb to the top of the statue, okay? What is the meaning of ferry? A ferry is a small boat that takes the people from the harbor, from New York, to the island where the statue is. A young French sculptor named Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi visited America in 1871. When he saw Bedloe's Island in New York Harbor, he knew it was just the right place for the statue he wanted to build. So, who made this statue? It is a young French sculptor named Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi. Okay, when he visited it uh, in 1871, he knew that this is the right place for his statue. He, of course, had created many statues and monuments, but the Statue of Liberty was the greatest of them. Why the Statue of Liberty was made? It was a present from France to America as a remembrance of the old friendship between the two countries. When Bartholdi got back to Paris, he made sketches and some small models. He started to draw what he wanted to build and he started to make models. Models are small examples. So as you see in the picture, we have models of the statue. He is trying to put a plan for the statue, okay? The statue would be a woman whom he would call Liberty. He called her Liberty. Why? She would be a symbol of the freedom in the new world, okay? So he wanted it to be a symbol. He wanted it to show freedom to the world, okay? It indicates to freedom, it shows freedom to the whole world, okay? She would hold a lamp in her raised hand to welcome people who come, who came to America. She would be liberty enlightening the world. The statue would be very large and very strong. 
Bartholdi wanted people to be able to climb up inside the statue and look out over the harbor from the crown and the torch. So a crown is what a queen or a king put over the head. Okay, they put what over the head? They put a crown. And here in the picture to the right, you can see Liberty putting a crown around her hair, around her head. And a torch. A torch is a, a source of light. It's a stick, maybe made from metal uh, or wood. And at the end of it, there is a source of light. It can be fire, it can be a light bulb. Okay, people used to hold torches in the past that were made from wood and fire to lighten around them. And nowadays they make it from electricity, okay? Many well-known artists, engineers, and craftsmen, artists who, uh, who paint and who design, and engineers who build, and craftsmen, the people who work and build by their hands, they gave ideas about building the statue in the best way. First, the first step they made was making a huge skeleton, building a huge skeleton. Here in the small picture, you can see two skeletons, two pic a picture with two ways of putting two directions of putting the skeleton, okay? So a skeleton, like in our bodies, we have skeleton from bones, right? This holds our bodies. And for sure, you took it in science, but here, in this picture, it is made of steel. Why? To make the statue strong, to make the statue strong and it can carry people inside it. Many people worked together in a large workshop. Some worked on Liberty's head and crown, others worked on her right hand, which would hold the torch. In her left hand, she would hold a tablet here in the picture, we can see the tablet. This is the tablet. It's a piece of stone that is very soft and easy to write over it. Okay, people use it in the past to write over it. And it is a symbol for writing, for, uh, for also learning and freedom. Okay. It was written over the, on the tablet the date of July the 4th, 1776. Why? Why this special date was written on the tablet? Because it is the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence was signed. The Declaration means telling, the telling and announcing the independence of America. The independence means that no more enemies are taking the land of America. America in that day was free, was independent, was strong by itself. Nobody was taking over the power of the country. Nobody, no enemy was taking the country from its own people, okay? So in that time when they got out all the people who were not wanted in America and America was uh, by itself independent without anyone that people didn't want, it was the Declaration of Independence. They announced, they told, that no more enemies, no more unwanted people in America in that day. That's why it was very important date to put on the tablet. The arm holding the torch was sent to Philadelphia for America's 100th birthday celebration in 1876. So they sent the arm holding the torch to Philadelphia as a gift in the 100th birthday of America, okay? It stood in Madison Square in New York City for a number of years. It was there for a number of years before putting all the pieces together. Liberty's head was shown at the World's Fair in Paris during this time. So when they sent the hand to Madison Square, the head was still in Paris, okay? Visitors were able to climb inside and look around. In this way, money was raised to pay for the statue. So before making the statue, it needed a lot of money. So they started putting the head in France. And when people went to visit, they pay money and they take this money to complete the other pieces of the statue. 
Then skin of gleaming copper was put onto the skeleton and held in place with iron straps. So after finishing the skeleton, it was covered with gleaming copper, shining copper. Copper is a metal, a shining metal that was put onto the skeleton. How did they hold it to the skeleton? How was it held? It was held by iron straps, pieces of iron to make the gleaming copper stick to the skeleton of the Statue of Liberty. As the huge statue grew, all of Paris watched with great, with great fascination, with great fascination, okay? Fascination means amazement or astonishment or surprise, okay? They were so astonished and surprised and happy for seeing such a great statue in the city. Finally, in 1884, liberty was completed. It was completed in 1884. There was a big celebration in Paris. Many famous people came to see her. Only few had the energy to climb all the way to the crown, 168 steps. So it was a very long way. Not all the people were strong to climb till the end. Not all the people were strong to climb 168 steps. Then began the hard work of taking liberty apart for the long voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. So a voyage is a trip by sea, a long trip by sea, okay? So to take liberty from Paris to America, it took a hard work. How did they transport liberty from France to America? First of all, they divided it into parts and they wrote numbers on the crates, okay? Each piece was marked and packed into a crate. What is the meaning of the word crate? Now, sometimes I don't have time to go back to the dictionary and see the meaning of a word. I can take the meaning from the context clues around the word, okay? Each piece was marked and packed into a crate. So it most probably will be a box or a container as in the picture. These are the crates that the Statue of Liberty was divided into pieces put into it, okay? They were carried by train and then put on a ship to America. But in America, people had lost interest in the Statue of Liberty, okay? They lost the, the interest. They were not interested anymore. Money had run out and work on Midlow's Island had stopped. Because the money was out, the work stopped. The base for the statue was not finished because the money ran out. With the help of a large New York newspaper, the money was raised. So this newspaper, this large newspaper from New York, it asked people to pay money for the statue to be built, to tell them that they need more money for the statue to be built. And all of the people gave money to build the statue. Even children sent whatever in they could. By the time the ship reached New York in 1885, it was greeted with new excitement. Now it, it was new excitement again for completing the statue and for having it in the city. The work on the island went on and soon the pedestal was completed. The base was completed. Piece by piece, the skeleton was raised. Then the copper skin was riveted. Okay, so they put the pieces together. Okay, as we said before, it was, it was put into small pieces so that they can carry it by train, then by ship. And then when it went back to America, they put it again like a puzzle. They put all the pieces together. How did they know the pieces? As they mentioned before, they put numbers to know where to put these pieces, to have it like a plan, to be able to put the statue again in an easy way, okay? The statue had been built not once, but twice, first in France and then in America. Okay, and this can remind us with other great things that can be built, like the skyscrapers and um, 
and the huge, uh, huge buildings and the pyramids, for example, in Egypt, these huge buildings and these huge uh, statues need a lot of work. At last, in 1886, Liberty was standing where she belonged. A wonderful celebration was held. A wonderful celebration was taking place. A wonderful celebration happened. Boats and ships filled the harbor. Speeches were read. They, uh, the people who came to the city read speeches. Songs were sung to celebrate the presence of Liberty. Artaldi himself, Reveal, unveiled Liberty's face. He uncovered Liberty's face and stood gleaming in all her glory, all her greatness, for everyone to see. There was a great cheer from the crowd. They were all happy and joyful. The President Grover Cleveland gave a speech. Over the years, immigrants have arrived to begin new lives in America. So immigrants are what? Immigrants are people who left their own countries, their original countries, to America, to other countries, searching for better lives, for better lives, for new lives. Okay, as we heard the word migration before, in science we learned that animals, birds migrate, searching for worms, right? They leave the cold weather and search for the warm weather in the winter, not to die. But for people, people migrate, people migrate for what reason? To search for better lives, for new lives. Okay, so people from all over the world came to America. Why? Because America was a new country. It had only the Red Indians, okay, then People from Europe and from uh, came to settle down in America and to make it a country and to build this country. So it needed a lot of people to build it. And that's why many people from all over the world came to America. And Liberty was welcoming the people who are coming to America, who are coming to New York City by ship. Also, Liberty is a symbol of freedom that they are looking for. It is a symbol of their dreams and hopes. Every year on the 4th of July, the United States of America celebrates the independence. Independence where the country could uh, have no longer enemies, no one is taking over it, and it's free now from any enemy, okay? Fireworks light up the sky above New York Harbor. The Statue of Liberty is truly unforgettable. Unforgettable, un means not forgettable. That means you can forget it, but unforgettable, you cannot forget it. It is an unforgettable sight, okay? A symbol of all that is American. A symbol of all that is American. It is a symbol of liberty, freedom, and of hope, and of people, who are coming for the new world, searching for their new lives. Give me your tired, your poor. So give me all your tiredness, your poor, not having money, your huddled masses, your huddled masses, all the people who are gathering, yearning, yearning to breathe free. They, want it, they are wanting very much, they want very much to breathe free. The rich should refuse. The rich, the miserable refuse of your teeming shore. So the shore here, the land by the sea, is full of people who are wanting to breathe free, who refuse all the bad things they are facing, okay, in the, the old lands, the old countries they lived in. Send these, the homeless, people without homes, the tempest tossed, these are people who are uh, who are troubled repeatedly, okay? They are all the time finding troubles in their lives. To me, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. These words are supposed to be said by liberty to all the people who want to go to new countries with new hopes, with new dreams, okay? But still, 
we have to remind ourselves that we have to overcome our troubles and do the best, okay, in our own lands. So this is for today for the story of the Statue of Liberty. I wish you understand it very well. For any clarifications, please contact your class teachers. Thank you so much.